Every day we explore what's trending on GitHub so you don't have to. Today, we've got 21 open source projects. Whether you're into dev productivity or automation, this list is loaded with insane projects you don't want to miss. So grab your coffee and let's see what's trending on GitHub today. Hit that like button, drop a comment with your favorite project, and let's dive in. Tired of juggling 10 tabs just to see why your build broke? So here's a tool for devs, Pipedash, a desktop dashboard that unifies all your CI CD pipelines in one place. GitHub Actions, BuildKite, Jenkins, all together. No more switching dashboards, no more refreshing pages like you're waiting on exam results. Everything runs locally, private by design. No telemetry, no cloud middleman, just pure control. Trigger builds, rerun jobs, cancel stuck pipelines, view run history, commit info, execution time, all from one app. Ever wanted Telegram-style spoilers on your website? Boom, now you can. This tiny web component lets you hide text behind a spoiler effect. Tap to reveal with smooth particle animations, no dependencies, no framework headaches. Use it anywhere. React, Vue, Svelte, Vanilla JS. Just wrap your text in spoiler span and you're done. Customize your colors, particle burst, and animations. Fully accessible, crazy lightweight, and fast. And bonus, unlike similar libraries, this one doesn't lock you into React or require bleeding edge browser APIs. Need to send files between machines fast with zero setup, zero cloud storage, zero trust issues? Meet E2ECP, a peer-to-peer -peer file transfer tool that works through the web, CLI, or both. No accounts, no servers storing your stuff, just end-to-end -end encrypted transfers using P256 key exchange and AES GCM. The relay never sees your files, not even a byte, and it's built for real-world networks, not perfect lab connections. Bad Wi-Fi? Sketchy public internet? Doesn't matter. Your files get through safely. Meet MarkDrop, a visual markdown editor designed for developers and content creators who want beautiful readme files and documentation without wrestling with raw syntax all the time. MarkDrop combines drag and drop editing, real time preview, and multiple editing modes, letting you switch between visual blocks, raw markdown, and live preview instantly. Build headings, lists, tables, code blocks with syntax highlighting, badges, images, everything Markdown supports, but with a clean UI and zero friction. It syncs across devices, works offline with PWA support, and stores your Markdown securely in the cloud. What if you could boot Linux in your browser? No VM, no native install, just pure WebAssembly. That's Linux Wasm, a wild experiment that compiles a full Linux stack to Wasm. It's not just the kernel. This thing stitches together LLVM, a patched Linux kernel, muzzle libc, busybox, a minimal init ramfs, and a tiny JS runtime. Everything you need to spin up a shell and basic commands inside a browser tab. Want to try it safely? Build scripts, run it on your host or in Docker containers with all dependencies isolated. Cheat Sheet, an AI-driven open source alternative to Google Sheets built with Tambo AI. This isn't your typical spreadsheet tool. It's a new way to work with data using natural language and automation. With Cheat Sheet, you can build and manipulate spreadsheets simply by telling the AI what you want. Highlight cells, describe transformations, generate tables, clean data, or build charts, all through natural language. It's even multimodal, meaning you can attach images as context for your spreadsheet tasks. Ever wanted linear attention that doesn't compromise performance? Even on million token contexts, Kimi Linear is that architecture. At its core is Kimi Delta Attention, a refined take on gated delta net with smarter gating to squeeze the most out of finite state RNN memory. It's a hybrid attention system, three to one KDA to global MLA, which slashes memory usage without losing quality. Think up to 75% smaller KV caches and six ties faster decoding, all while handling long, cover short and RL style tasks with ease. Ever hit the ceiling on long context models and thought, there's got to be a smarter way? Glyph flips the script. Instead of feeding millions of tokens directly into a model, it renders text as images and processes them with vision language models. This visual text compression turns the long context problem into a multimodal task, slashing memory usage and compute costs without losing the meaning of your text. 
Glyph achieves massive token compression, speeds up inference, and still hits competitive benchmarks on long bench and MRCR, even with 128K token inputs. Wireframe UI, a simple tool for developers who want to skip Figma and design directly in code. No design tool, no exports, no back and forth, just mockups straight in your IDE. Quickly prototype layouts, test flows, and iterate fast, all while staying inside your code base. It's perfect for devs who want to ship with confidence without losing time on visual tooling. Wireframe in your code and turn ideas into working interfaces instantly. Wireframe UI speeds up the design to code workflow and keeps everything in your developer environment. Next, we have Fibo, the JSON native text to image model built for professional workflows rather. Unlike typical text-to-image models that prioritize imagination over precision, Fibo is trained on structured captions up to 1,000 plus words, giving you fine-grained control over lighting, composition, color, and camera settings. Each attribute is disentangled, so you can tweak a single element without breaking the scene. Perfect for designers, illustrators, and production pipelines. Ratifact, a TUI app built with Ratatouille that monitors build outputs from Rust, Python, Go, and more. See file sizes, modification times, and language types in a clean table, all without leaving your terminal. Need to clean up old builds? Ratifact lets you selectively delete artifacts or set automated cleanup rules. You can even trigger rebuilds directly from the interface. Fully cross-platform, Linux, macOS Windows, with a one-liner install. If you want control, visibility, and cleanup for every build without leaving your CLI, Ratifact is your new terminal buddy. Letacode, a stateful, self-improving coding agent that learns from experience and gets smarter the more you use it. At its core, Letacode is a command line harness for the Leta Agents API, letting you connect with any Leta agent, coding or otherwise, and give it direct access to your local development environment. Run scripts, debug code, and interact with your projects, all straight from the terminal. If you want a coding agent that adapts, remembers, and improves with use, Letacode is your go-to CLI companion. Think of OpenEnv as the Swiss army knife for post-training RL environments. It wraps your agentic environments in a gymnasium-style API, so interacting is as simple as step, reset, or state. For environment creators, OpenEnv simplifies building rich, isolated, and secure environments that can be deployed over HTTP or packaged with Docker. Whether you're developing RL environments, frameworks, or tooling, OpenEnv makes them easier to create, distribute, and integrate. Imagine dropping a full Godot game engine right into your React Native app. That's exactly what born React Native Godot does. It's like giving your mobile app a secret superpower. It runs Godot on a separate thread, so your main app never skips a beat. You can start, stop, pause, or swap out Godot instances on the fly, and even control every Godot object, signal, and method from JavaScript or TypeScript. The Godot window can be embedded on the same screen or separately, letting your app and game coexist seamlessly. What if your Flutter app could have a slick, interactive node editor, right out of the box? View node flow makes it happen. Inspired by React Flow, it's a reactive, high-performance editor that feels snappy even with complex graphs. Drag, drop, and connect nodes with custom themes, multiple port shapes, and flexible connection styles. Add sticky notes, groups, or markers, navigate with the built-in minimap, or use keyboard shortcuts to speed things up. Want to save your work? JSON serialization has you covered. Need clean layouts? Auto layout algorithms handle grids, hierarchies, and alignments. Claude Code Infrastructure Showcase is like a playbook for building scalable, maintainable systems, straight from six months of real-world iteration. It's not an app, it's a reference library. Inside, you'll find patterns for auto-activating skills, modular skill design following the 500-line progressive disclosure rule, specialized agents for tricky tasks, and dev docs that survive context resets. Everything comes with worked examples in a generic blog domain, so you can lift what you need and drop it straight into your projects. Imagine a web server that doesn't need any code. No routes, no controllers, no business logic. That's no code. The whole app is powered by an LLM and just three tools, a database, a web response generator, and a memory updater. The experiment? 
build a simple contact manager, forms, list views, persistence, entirely without writing application logic. Most software is just CRUD dressed up differently. So if this works, it's a proof of concept that AI could replace the code layer entirely. Right now, it's slow, messy, and expensive. But the fact that it works at all is pretty wild. Up next is Suica Viewer, a niche but incredibly useful tool for transit tech enthusiasts, reverse engineering hobbyists, and anyone curious about Japan's Felica-based IC cards like Suica and Posmo. This project reads detailed data directly from Felica transit cards, pulling issuance info, balance, transaction history, commuter pass details, station logs, and more. It features both a CLI for power users and a Tikinter GUI for visual browsing, complete with tabs for card overview, gate history, and filters for trip data. If you've ever wanted to peek under Bitcoin's hood and actually understand how it works, Python Bitcoin Utils is your toolkit. This Python library is simple, letting you manage keys and addresses, craft transactions, including SegWit and Taproot, and even work with full scripts and raw blocks. It's perfect for developers who want to experiment with Bitcoin at a low level without drowning in complexity. Think of it as a hands-on way to learn the protocol, play with transactions, and explore the internals, all in Python, all readable, and all extensible. Phantom Task a Windows command line utility for managing scheduled tasks with session-specific control and elevated privileges. Using the Windows Task Scheduler API, Phantom Task lets you create tasks that run in particular user sessions, list all active sessions on your machine, and execute commands immediately or on a schedule. It supports flexible authentication, interactive token or password, and tasks can run hidden and with the highest privileges. Conditionals, a lightweight Swift UI package designed to make OS version checks and conditional modifiers clean. Instead of cluttering your views with nested available checks, Conditionals provides a fluent, chainable API for applying Swift UI modifiers based on OS availability, compile time checks, or static styling rules. It keeps your code readable, especially when targeting multiple Apple platforms. Ideal for developers building cross platform Swift UI apps. Conditional simplifies version-specific styling without bloating your views.